This article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more Meghan Markle, 40, and husband Prince Harry, 36, have been criticized by Karen Brady, 52, after new excerpts were released from the unauthorized book about the royal couple, Finding Freedom. In one particular part, it aired their perceived slights from the royal family and read more like a soap opera, claimed The Apprentice star. Take a look at Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Learn all about the secretive personal lives and history of the royal family as you've never seen them before in Amazon's best-selling Royal Historical Biographies This box contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more. Top Deals View Deal brought to you by After Reading the Excerpts, Karen admitted that although she was such a fan of Meghan when she first started dating Harry, she began to lose sympathy for the couple when it became clear they want to have their cake and eat it following their move to the US. The Apprentice star hit out at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in a column for The Sun, branding the pair completely tone deaf for airing their grievances and double standards publicly. She wrote, It is hard to respect their double standards, worrying about the planet while flying on private jets, calling people racist when Harry's own past is dotted with misguided moments. And now this new chapter, airing all the perceived slights and supposed mistreatment, is totally tone deaf given the unimaginable levels of privilege they enjoy. It is like a soap opera. They have become a problem that will not go away, a weeping sore the royal family cannot heal. After acknowledging that there are two sides to every story, Karen pointed out that Meghan and Harry's complaints about their treatment from the royal family have been doing them no favors. Karen added, they have already caused so much damage. Where will it stop? Will there be a reality TV show about their daily lives, like the Kardashians? Harry and Meghan appear to have created a new role for themselves as thorns in the royal family's side. Karen concluded, and it's a far cry from the quiet life they have long professed to want. She also branded Meghan and Harry a weeping sore the royal family cannot heal after they criticized the firm in several interviews. In a landmark sit-down with Oprah Winfrey last year, both Meghan and Harry revealed their discontent at a number of issues within the palace. The Duchess of Sussex described the Queen as being really welcoming in one part, however, she also discussed how she felt upset after her son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was not made a prince. She claimed that there were multiple conversations and concerns about how dark her son's skin color would be. The statement left Oprah looking visibly shocked during their discussion. The host asked who made such a statement, however, Meghan would not reveal who it was, saying it would be very damaging to their reputation. But she replied by saying there were several conversations surrounding her child's complexion. Meghan shared, In those months, when I was pregnant, all around this same time, we had in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he won't be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin will be when has born. That was relayed to me from Harry, that was from conversations that family had with him. It was really hard to see those as compartmentalized conversations, she added.